Hey, welcome back everybody. I just wanted to share with you all my pumpkins, my pumpkin plants, and my melons, my watermelons. So, I had planted these, um, I see this is now July, back in end of May, 1st of June, I believe it was. And these are my pumpkins. Let me show you. So I have a row, actually I have a row right here. And we got a whole lot of rain about a week or so back, about two weeks now, I guess. And these things were just about blighted. I think that's the word you, you call when they get too much water, hit these weeds. Um, but this, we just got a, a rocky bank over this way. I mean, there's like some overgrow up there, but the rest of this is just all, you know, rockiness. But I have discovered that it is like just prime soil for pumpkins. So, but when I was reading on my pumpkin seed pack, I realized that I was supposed to have weeded these out, like thin them out rather, um, when they first were only about two, three inches tall. And as you can see, some of these are a little bit taller than that. Um, so I thinned them out recently and I thought, well, I'll replant them. The ones I thinned out and I did it immediately and they wasn't out of the ground very long and I did it in the late evening about like now. Um, but they, well, this one's trying to live, but they were dead, this one is, by the very next day. So I had this row here, and then I planted over here, but these died. I guess where I planted these, or I might have planted, you know what, I'm getting confused here. These, actually, sorry, I told you wrong, these are cantaloupes, and these are Supposed to be some cantaloupes here coming up, but they're not coming up too good. Now these are cantaloupes, sorry. Cantaloupes, cantaloupes, and over here was supposed to be some cantaloupe. And they're starting to come up right there too, a little bitty. And this is of course some grass. I'll have to get up here and thin these out, but, cause we don't want the grass. We want, where's it at? Yeah, right here. But so apparently Rocky, Rocky soils must be, and there's another little one right there coming up. Must be good for growing cantaloupes and yeah, melons. Honestly, and don't know if that's the kind of soil you want to grow it in or not. Um, cause I've never actually grown. I tried growing watermelons one other time years ago. Um, and it was just by like a little branch area that was always wet and I actually ended up getting a little bubblegum ball size melon on it and then it came a really heavy rain and washed it all out so that's my only and last time uh, attempting melons and this is the first time doing cantaloupes and they were actually my mama's seeds and she had her hip replacement and didn't get them in before that happened so they went in late because I just got those in about a week ago but so first time doing cantaloupes definitely first time doing pumpkins and i'm really excited about these because i love having um pumpkins to decorate at fall i like to put out you know the corn shucks and all that stuff hay bales and you know it was they wasn't horrible but last year they were a little expensive um and i assume they'll be even worse this year so it'd be so nice to have you know your own pumpkins so hopefully they work out good if i can just keep the animals out of them because we had some issues with the watermelons where I'm assuming it was a groundhog uh, ate what I thought was all of my plants because they were doing really really well they were coming along nicely and then I was checking them every day about every two days and then they were there two days later they weren't there and my dad had seen a groundhog over that way, so I'm pretty sure that's what happened. And I thought he had ate them all. Um, 
So I was just pretty much going to give up. I hadn't gone back over there in a couple days. And then when I finally went, I realized that there were some that had planted that were kind of slow to come up. And so he didn't get those. So I do have those. But it, there's only a very few plants. But I'm hoping they make good melons and they produce well. But we shall see. Like I say, these cantaloupes, they probably, I don't know, they're coming along, but set up germinating five, about five to seven days. So it did what it said. But we may not actually have fruit um, till much later in the year, but we'll see. But I will finish watering the cantaloupes and melons, or cantaloupes and pumpkins rather, and then I will show you guys my melon plants. So over here, is my melon patch across over here and we're gonna go over there in a minute but my little melon is right there and then I got some more up right over there and then there's some little ones back over there on that side so we'll get a little closer okay so here's the larger ones and you can see this one's doing really good I don't, I don't have any blooms yet, but I'm really not sure, like I say, since I've never really gotten too far before when I try melons, I'm not really sure what stage of growth they had to be in before they had blooms and blossoms, but I've got a lot of little weeds here. I try to keep them away, but we have one up here too. Mm. It's a little small, but it's coming along. And a little, another little big one up here. But that one's, that one's doing the best. But I come down here and try to water, water these and get the weeds that's close to them away. Now these, these are some that were a packet that my mom had and when the groundhog got mine we came and planted hers over here hoping to still have some watermelons and these are coming up and I may have these too close and whatnot but you know what I'm learning but as far as those go we only had enough to get us through there so hopefully we'll have some melons maybe about I think these that are planted, these smaller ones here, that's from my mom's pack, that will probably be September, maybe late September, if I remember correctly. But these, we might have something on them by the end of August. We shall see. But I'm pretty tickled with that. I hope they do well, and I hope nothing eats them. But I think what these were, uh, or at least my mom's, I think, were sugar, sugar babies, melons, watermelons. But I can't remember what mine were that I planted. I think I kept the packets. I'm pretty sure I kept them all. I know the pumpkins, I'm pretty sure they're called Cherokee bush pumpkins. They looked like the pumpkins you see normally at um, fall and Halloween time for jack-o'-lanterns is what they look like to me which is what I was hoping to grow so that's good if that ends up being that um, but they were pretty nice orange color and I like that in my pumpkin so now we'll just get these little babies watered and I got my bucket of water over there. I just used to go from here back up there to the house to the water hose and get more water and come back or go all the way down there and get it. But I just started being wise and just carrying me a bucket. And I use my little, my little water pitcher. I think I got this at the Walmart maybe. Because I don't want to have it wash out and damage the plant. So it's worked so, so far. Go, oh, gotta refill. Well, 
I was going to confirm what my pumpkins and everything were and share that with you all. Um, but I've had an injury as I was coming back from finishing watering the last watermelon plant. There was a groundhog hole and I stepped in it and fell down and punctured my leg. It's, I don't think it's horrible, but the flesh is rolled. I'm not gonna show you guys in case there's people who are screaming this, but it's uh, it's not pretty. So, and it kind of hurts. So I'm gonna end this now and go in and clean this up. Um, but you know the drill, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.